Hey guys and welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. If you're new here, you're really welcome. My name's Laura and this video is a follow-on from my previous video all about getting lower UCAS scores than you had hoped for and what your options are next. So go and check that video out for more hints and tips of what to do if you've got a lower UCAS score than you'd expected. But this video is all about where to strategically apply to medical schools to give you the greatest chance of getting into medicine this time round, even if you have a lower UCAT score than you'd hoped for. Your UCAT score is important to factor in when considering where to apply to, as some universities will weigh this really heavily in their selection process. However, there is a wide variety of medical schools across the UK that actually don't factor in UCAT as heavily as the other universities. So knowing which ones to apply to with a lower UCAT score will really open up a lot more opportunities for you to get offers for medicine. So as mentioned in my last video, if you're wondering what a low sort of UCAT score is, it's anywhere from 2,440 points and lower. And your sort of average UCAT score is between 2,440 points and 2,560 points. This means that if you're in the average range of around 610 to 640 points in each of your sections, you're on track to being quite competitive with getting into most medical schools. However, if you are scoring on the lower side of this, then it is wise to choose your universities based on the fact that they won't look as heavily at your UCAT score. So here are the universities that you should be putting down on your UCAS application form to make sure that you have the highest chance of getting into medicine this year. Please remember that your UCAT does not define your abilities as a doctor, so getting a lower UCAT than you'd hoped for is perfectly acceptable to still allow you to apply to medical schools. Some universities will look at it a lot heavier than others, so it is worth bearing in mind which universities don't focus heavily on the UCAT and to make sure that you include some of these on your UCAS application form this year. As with all my videos, this is from my own research, so do go away and double check this information and also check that these medical schools fit your other wish list criteria and don't just select them because they'll give you the highest chance of getting in. It's important that you will really enjoy your time at university. After all, you will be spending about five to six years there. So without further ado, here are the different universities that you should consider applying to with a low UCAT score. So first up, it's Cardiff, and Cardiff is a great medical school. So Cardiff actually bases most of its selection from your top nine GCSEs. This is great as it means that it doesn't really focus on UCAT that heavily unless in really borderline situations where two or more students will have the same grades. This means with strong GCSEs, you've got a really high chance of getting an offer for an interview at Cardiff. They give you three points if you've got an A star or a nine and so on right down to the lowest grade, which is a really, really great opportunity for you if you've got a lower UCAT score, but strong GCSE grades. So next up is Kiel and Kiel has a really good medical school. It's situated in sort of central England and I actually had never really heard about it until applying to medical schools. I actually ended up applying and getting an offer from Kiel and really liked the idea of going there. Kiel has a cutoff for the UCAT, however, it is actually very low compared to a lot of other universities and it only needs you to have got above the 20th percentile in the UCAT. It does have a cutoff for situational judgment and won't include your application if you have scored a band four. So it's worth noting that if you have a low situational judgment section, don't apply to Kiel. But if that doesn't apply to you, then Kiel is a great opportunity for you to get a medical school offer. Their cutoff for last year's application was 570 points average through your UCAT sections, which is considerably lower than most universities and a great option for you if you're scoring in this sort of area. So the next university to consider is Liverpool and Liverpool is a fabulous city with loads and loads of different things to do. Liverpool has a really nice medical school as well, which is kind of based in the heart of Liverpool city. So similar to Cardiff, Liverpool looks heavily at your academics. So they score your GCSEs with points as well. They take your top nine GCSEs like Cardiff and do the same process, scoring an A star or a nine with three points and so on down to the lowest scores. 
They have a minimum requirement for the scores at your GCSEs, but this is usually quite low at around 15 points each year. The next part of this process does then look at your UCAT score, but if you've got really strong GCSEs, then you won't have to worry as much about your UCAT score because the points from your UCAT are added on to the GCSE points. With your GCSE points contributing to 75% of the selection process and your UCAT score at only 25%, this is a really, really great opportunity to get an offer for an interview and then potentially a medical school offer after that. So definitely consider putting Liverpool down in the UCAS form if you've got a lower UCAT score, but strong GCSEs. So the next medical school to consider is Plymouth. And surprisingly, Plymouth actually has quite a low UCAT cutoff, which is a really great opportunity if any of you guys like the idea of living in the south of England. With last year's entry at 597 points per section, which is on the lower side of the UCAT percentile and lower than average for most students. After looking around Plymouth's website for more information about their UCAT and how they look at it, I actually managed to find out that they are looking towards 600 points as being a cutoff. This is surprisingly low considering it's a very competitive medical school, but it will give you a great opportunity to get an offer for an interview and then potentially an offer for medicine in the future. It's also a really great university to apply to if you didn't do as well as you had hoped in your situational judgment section, as they actually don't score this at the minute. So another medical school to consider is Sunderland, and this doesn't heavily focus on UCAT at all. Like with Kiel, Sunderland asks students to be in the top eight deciles of the UCAT. This basically means that you have to be above 20% of the scores that year, which for most students will be quite achievable. So definitely consider applying to Sunderland if your scores are slightly lower than you had hoped, but aren't lower than 20% of the points that year. The only catch with Sunderland is you have to have a situational judgment section of between bands one and bands three. They don't consider applicants with a band four. So another medical school to consider is Queen's University Belfast. And again, I also applied to Queen's because I actually live in Belfast and have always really liked the idea of going to Queen's University. But stay tuned for a full video about why I chose Queen's University Belfast and I'll go into a lot more detail about the reasons why I chose to stay in Northern Ireland and why I chose to go to university here in Belfast. So similar with Cardiff and with Liverpool, Queen's University look at your GCSEs before your UCAT score. This means that they take your top nine GCSEs and give it a maximum of four points for an A star or a nine. So with strong GCSEs, you won't have to worry too much about your UCAT score. So your UCAT is given points from the university. However, it is only from zero to six points. And as you can see from this table, actually is quite feasible for most students with strong GCSEs. So the maximum score for your academics with your top nine GCSEs is 36 points. And then you've got an excess of six points to add on to this if you get really good scores in your UCAT. But for most people, even with average scores in their UCAT, will be able to actually get an interview because they usually have a minimum cutoff before inviting you to interview of around 30 to 32 points. Last year, to get to an interview at Queen's, you needed 30 points. And this doesn't matter if it was combined from your GCSEs and your UCAT or solely from your GCSEs. So with straight A stars or nines at GCSE, you could have been guaranteed an interview without even having to consider your UCAT score. So they were the main universities that I'm aware of that don't look as heavily at UCAT scores as other universities and other medical schools. But I have come across a couple of other medical schools that don't really mention too much about UCAT and could potentially be a good opportunity for you to apply to if you're slightly unsure whether your GCSEs are strong enough or if you're not really fast on some of the other options that I've already mentioned. So when looking on the Kent and Medway University website, they don't really mention much about the UCAT. So this could give you a chance to potentially apply there and actually get in with quite a low UCAT score because they don't really seem to use it as heavily in their selection criteria as other universities do. 
On their website, all they really talk about the UCAT is that they look at it quite generously, which could be taken as quite lenient and potentially quite a low UCAT score. So do go check that out as another option. Then there are private universities like Buckingham, which actually state that they do not require the UCAT to be sat at all to get into their university. Buckingham also don't use the BMAT, so it means that if you're willing to pay quite a bit of money per year to go there, because they are a private university, they do charge a lot higher fees, then you could potentially get into medical school without having to sit any admissions test. The final one I came across was the University of Central Lancashire, and this one doesn't really talk much about the UCAT on their website, so it could be taken that they actually don't include it that heavily in the selection process. If you are considering applying to University of Central Lancashire, go and check out their website for more information, but as far as I'm aware, they don't really talk much about it, so it could give you quite a good opportunity of getting in with a decent to low UCAT score. So I hope this video has given you a better idea of the universities to apply to with a lower UCAT score than you'd hoped for. There are lots and lots of medical schools across the UK, so do go away and do some more research into each one to double check that there aren't other universities that don't really focus as heavily on UCAT as others. When selecting your universities, make sure that you're not just going via the opportunity of getting in this year and do also consider how you'll enjoy your experience and your time at this university. If you would like any more information about how to select the best medical school for you, go check out my other video which I have made all about selecting universities that will suit you best. It's worth noting as well that you can only select four medical schools on your UCAS application form, so you will also need to consider a fifth choice. And if you're wondering what sort of fifth choice options are best to accompany a degree in medicine, then go check out my other video all about choosing your fifth choice university or career or course. Also go check out my other video that was the first sort of video in this little series about what your options are if you've scored a lower UCAT than you had hoped and you don't really know what your options are next. You may not want to apply to these medical schools that I've mentioned and there are about six more options for you to consider if you don't want to apply this year to medicine but do want the opportunity to apply in the future. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my new videos and content that I'll be releasing to hopefully help you on your journey to medicine. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!